a butterfly smile. A smile as wide as the butterfly's wings. Please note the authors. First published by Pratham Books. And I'm Kiwi Opa. Line up, class. Let's go to the park, Lila Miss says. All the students hold hands, chattering away. Cavia stands by herself. As they start walking, Lila Miss asks, Does anyone know what a caterpillar becomes when it grows up? Cavia's stomach flips. She knows the answer. Should she say something? Kavya lives in India. Kavya and her family have just moved to Bengaluru from her village. They live at the construction site where her parents work. It's hard living in a half-finished house. The air smells of smoke. The honking traffic makes it hard to sleep. The towering buildings, zooming cars and busy people make her feel very, very small. Kavya has been coming to school for a week. She still hasn't spoken to anyone. What if they make fun of her accent or tease her because she's never been to school before? Kavya takes a deep breath and raises her hand. In a noisy city like Bengaluru, she can't be quiet forever. When caterpillars grow up, they become butterflies, Kavya says. That's right, Lilamus says. Caterpillars are only caterpillars for a few weeks, Kavya goes on. They spend the whole time eating leaves. They must get very big, says Mary, her classmate. They do. After they eat and eat and eat, caterpillars weave cocoons on the sides of plants. They go inside where they grow and change, says Caviar. That's correct, says Lilamus. They stay in the cocoons for about two weeks. When they came out, they are butterflies. Look, we're at the park, Mary says. Kavya gasps. The park is covered in butterflies. Blue butterflies, the colour of rivers. Yellow butterflies, the colour of sunlight. Orange butterflies, the colour of ripe jacuz. Black and white butterflies, the colour of starry skies. These are all the colours that Kavya misses from her village. She feels her heart flutter. Every year, butterflies travel thousands of kilometres to come to this park. They are here for more food better weather, and a safe place to lay their eggs, Lilamus says. This journey is called migration. Don't they get tired flapping their wings for so long, a classmate asks. If there is a strong wind, they don't have to flap their wings, Cavia says. They spread their wings and glide. That must be bumpy. Mary whispers to Kavya. Kavya thinks about the bus ride to Bengaluru, squeezed in between all the luggage, bumping and tumbling for hours and hours and hours. Is that how a butterfly feels on the wind? When butterflies migrate, they follow rivers. To stay healthy, they stop along the river bank to, to soak up minerals with their feet. It's called mud puddling, 
Lilimus explains. Mud puddling, Mary says. That sounds like fun. Mary and Caviar smile at each other. It is, Caviar says, but now puddles are hard to find. In Caviar's village, men and trucks take sand away from the river. The weather gets hotter and hotter. There is less and less rain. Last year, the river went dry. The butterflies didn't have enough water to mud puddle. Caviar's family didn't have enough water to farm. That's why they moved to Bengaru. You know a lot about butterflies, Caviar, says Lilamus. That's because they're my favourite insects, says Caviar. Why do you love butterflies so much, Caviar, asks Mary. How can Caviar choose just one thing? She loves how their bodies are sometimes spotted and sometimes striped. How they drink nectar with their long noses. How they spread pollen, which makes more flowers grow. They fly far, but wherever they land, they make new friends. Caviar says, squeezing Mary's hand. They're very small, but they're also very brave, just like you, Lilamus says. Caviar smiles a smile as wide as a butterfly's wings.